Yo, what it do, y'all? This is your boy King Eddie the Great coming at y'all with another video. And man, it is getting heated right now. Between this whole ordeal between Hassan Campbell and Chicago, the representatives of Chicago, they feel that his comments about FBG Duck's mother was very distasteful and uncalled for. And now he's doubling in on his comments. And the reason he's saying that is because he's saying that he she called JoJo Capone to put a $10,000 bounty on his head. So now he's responding in this way. He got real disrespectful. So I'm going to play y'all the clip. And I want to know, do you guys see any points in this from Hassan's point of view? Do you feel that he's going a bit too harsh considering that's a woman? Do you feel that it's justified? Let me know in the comments. I'm about to play the clip right here. Mama Duck, let me tell y'all something. Y'all talk about I'm not respecting her. Why the fuck should I respect a woman? That's on Tommy Sotomayor's show. The nigga that she was messing with went on Tommy show, Sotomayor's show and dragged her. Tommy played the audio. Nobody had nothing to say to Tommy. Tommy played the audio. With Mama Duck on the phone, talking to one of her son's enemies, talking about, yeah, I got some good pussy. This pussy is good. Mm -hmm. And he telling her, yeah, I'm going to get up in there for a long time. Mama, yo, Uncle Snoop, what Snoop Dogg said? Bitches ain't shit but hoes and tricks. Lick on these. Well, she was on Tommy so Sotomayor's show, listening to him play her audio. Allegedly, the fat bitch is on Pornhub. And you think I'm supposed to respect her? Yeah, right. Yeah, right. That fat bitch was smoking crack while her baby was dying. She was in a hotel smoking crack from her own mouth while her baby was being ran over in a driveway. She ain't find out her child was dead for four fucking hours because she was beaming up the sky. On top of the fact that y'all telling me to respect a woman that was 30 years old dating a 20-year-old son's friend? She is a pedophile. What? Yeah, I said it. It's 5,700 people in the building. Hit the notifications. I want all these, I want all these cat cats to see what I got to say. I want everybody to see what I got to say. Don't talk about Chicago. The same neglect... That that fat slob of a mother, the same neglect that she showed her son in Chicago, is the same thing that's happening with these young boys in New York City right now. Uh, so I hope you not mad at me. Miss you on YouTube. New York, New York Bloods. Let them know. You got 100,000 soldiers with you. Right. Niggas think I'm by myself. BC, thank you for the donation, family. Appreciate y'all. She would have told him not to diss the dead, but she condoned his raps. Rest in peace to the fallen soldier, Chicago. Rest in peace to Duck. Right. She condoned it. 5,600 people in the building. But pay attention. Because they're going to pull some of the numbers down, so y'all going to have to log right back on. Now it's back up to 57, because some of these dudes be dropping out to go back and flag my live because they want to knock me down. I don't even know what's your point. Because if I'm not on YouTube, y'all niggas ain't got no content. Mama Duck is a pedophile. Mama Duck sat up there at 35 years old and went and got a 20-year-old. Disgusting. What the hell... That she had in common with a 20 year old. She was getting her R. Kelly on. It's Kelly, baby. Nope, it's Mama Duck. Playing in the sandbox. I want y'all to put my put. I want y'all to think about this. How would you feel if your 35 year old mother was in the bedroom with a 20 year old that you older than? Her son probably was older than her boyfriend. Ill? Sean T. Love you, bro. Keep on putting your foot on their neck. Thank you. Appreciate you. 
I could tell you what type of dudes don't like me. I could tell you clearly what type of dudes that don't like me. Them niggas, them gangbangers, them old big gang, not the young bro. Shout out to the younger homies. Bloods, Crips, whatever you rap. Shout out to the young boys that's doing the only thing that they know how to do. Which is run the streets because they ain't got no men in their life. Because if these young boys had men in their life, they would carry themselves with respect. I could tell you what dudes that don't like me. The type of dudes that's 40 and 50 year old rappers that call themselves lobby boys that think that shit is cute when they sit up there pulling up in driveways and mansions and you stuck in those fucking lobbies but they want you to think that they down with your ass. No, they ain't down with you. They trying to get rich off your pain. These niggas is getting rich off of your pain. If your mama was selling crack, they would sell it to them. You know why these cats don't like me? Because I ain't got to sell drugs, coke, no crack, no dope. I don't have to kill my people. I'm waking them up and y'all don't like it. They can't get rich off your pain if I'm exposing them. T. Rivers, respect by the day. Okay, so let me know what you guys think in the comments. Subscribe, hit the like button, please.